so hello guys welcome back to the channel so today with me is a very rare usha ceiling fan i don't know what is the exact year of the manufacture but i hope this is from 1970s or 80s so the model is usha xla let me show you you can see usha xla 1200 mm the j engineering works and there are two usha labels i mean yeah usha depth seated on the motor cover two sides here and here and surprisingly this fan works perfectly also you can see this is the motor's upper cover and yes the blades doesn't have any shanks you can see there's a angle or something like this to maintain the blades perfect angle and yes the blade angle is pretty high even higher than the crompton's hybris and yes this fan is exclusively made for the federal bank of india you can see the signature or the sign of the federal bank let me turn on flash you can see federal bank usha and yes the construction of this motor is similar to that of orient dlx or something like that you can see this is false cover okay so i have to clean this fan so let me open and show you the motor from this instead of this false cover so the false cover is removed you can see the quality of this false cover is very awesome you can see it's iron not at all bending very good quality and this is a three spoked rotor fitment you can see and also there is a spring over here and yes the windings need to be clean you can see some spider webs i can see or here spider webs order maybe i won't be showing you the cleaning video of this fan because it's pre pretty hard to remove and dismantle and i don't have a time to take the video of that so whatever maybe let me do a fast cleaning of this fan and show you the performance At last i have completely opened the motor you can see so this is the upper cover with a 6202 bearing and this is the bottom cover with a 6201 yes yeah, 6201 bearing and this is the plastic bearing holder or the bearing seal something the quality of this thing is pretty awesome you can see it's very heavy pretty heavy this thing is and you can see they have used nut or here you can see two more nuts and this is how they install everything and one two and three these three screw holes are for installing the upper cover and these screws are for installing the blades and this is the blade holder and yes these are the blade screws you can see and this is the capacitor 2.5 capacitor i don't know whether it's original or not but i hope it's original maybe and this is the stator 14 volt stator need some cleaning and this is the varnish which i bought this is a regional branded and we can get a better one named elmo left or something like that so the fan is completely cleaned and assembled you can see the motor is assembled i have put a new hch bearing in the upper cover and i have oiled the bottom bearing and now i have to clean this using sandpaper and the blades are now cleaned as fast as possible you can see still there are some dust and other paint chipping on the blades whatever may be so now let me install the motor and show you the performance and then let me install the blades and show you the performance with load so the motor is installed on the ceiling and still there is some bearing noise because i have in changed the bottom bearing 
let me just turn on the water oh what an awesome speed because it is a 14 pole motor awesome just looks same as the Crompton hybrids of 1960s or 70s what are maybe let me install the blades so the blades are installed and now the fan looks like Crompton or a maybe because you can see the blades are wide at the tip just like the Crompton aura but sometimes I feel like this is a windmill because you can see somewhat looking like a windmill fan something like that whatever maybe let me turn on the fan is really awesome it's pretty thicker than the 1970s Crompton hybrids oh my god what an awesome airflow let me turn on the flash what an awesome airflow this is let me show you from the upside The airflow is really awesome and there is no wobbling of the motor. Pretty awesome airflow. That rattling sound is coming from the roofing sheet because this fan is making some vibrations. And the RPM is like Crompton hybrids of 2000s or the box logo hybrids maybe so let me turn off the fan so that's all for today so I hope you guys like the video of this rare and vintage ceiling fan from Usha so like and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching and yes see you guys in my next video